Hey, welcome back guys to another new world video. Today I want to go over some changes that I would really like to have by launch, including one that I believe is absolutely critical to have fixed. This is obviously just my opinion, and I am completely open to and encourage any discussion in the comments. Also, as time progresses in beta and up to the launch, many of these issues may and hopefully will be fixed, so please keep that in mind. First up, the Great Axe is too much and definitely needs a nerf. People are saying it all over the game, but I do think it is slow enough to warrant a lot of the big damage hits that it dishes out. I just tend to disagree where it can two-shot people. So turning down the damage at least a little wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You can even adjust the weapon to be only slightly worse just for PvP and leave the PvE aspect alone. That is 100% doable, just some food for thought. Now staying with the weapon issues, there is some shenanigans going on with the life staff, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it has a skill that heals you if you stand within a circle that appears on the ground. But the circle stays even if you switch weapons. If your build is right, you can pretty much be invincible standing within this circle. And you can still dish out a lot of damage. I know a couple of people that both had a life staff and great axe that dueled and it lasted like 30 minutes just because of that godforsaken heal. Uh, the reason this is a bit extra weird to me is the hatchet's uh, berserker skill goes away if you switch weapons, which to me doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess from a balance standpoint, I get it, but why does it go away for one and not the other? Uh, maybe for the life staff, if you are healing yourself and you switch away from it, let the healing only do like 50% or so of its healing effectiveness. That's one possible solution. Uh, so if you're standing in it trying to dish out damage, you aren't just hopefully stuck at full health, you know. Uh, this game has PvP scaling to favor the player with better skill the way this works it just completely flies in the face of that this next one may actually be in the game on purpose i'm talking about animation animation canceling your dodge it takes some coordination and timing to do not that much though so that does go into having some skill i guess but the way it works if you switch your weapon at the end of your dodge animation where you would usually pause you completely reset that and start running again almost instantly. It is pretty easy to get the hang of and noticeably faster. Again, animation canceling is a thing in many games, and it's especially critical to find every advantage with stuff like this for PvP. But if this is not an intended use of this, uh, then it needs to be fixed because chasing someone that is using this friggin sucks. Now, a convenience change I would like to see added at some point. Not necessarily by launch, there are certainly bigger issues to attend to, but I wish there was a skill and attribute preset that you could adjust. Uh, the reason I say this, uh, people are going to be adjusting builds for PvP. Your small group PvP maybe might be different from your large group PvP. I know I see a couple different skills even within Great Axe that I would probably switch out if I was going to be in a war versus, you know, just PvPing around towns. Uh, you're going to have different priorities. PvE is obviously different from PvP and may switch a bit with even within the high-end dungeons you might find something more optimal within uh, separate dungeons at the end game. Especially if this game has any sort of speedrun achievements for dungeons or something. Uh, it may already have that, I haven't really checked, but that is something where being optimized really comes into play. Uh, and still charge the same Azoth obviously, I don't have any problem with how that works. It, it just, just tally it all up in one button. I think it would be a really nice time saver instead of smashing whatever attribute your focus is a hundred times and then looking back and forth at the exact skills you need for your setup you know just a thought and finally the most important issue i think this game is facing at the moment and that is the fact there are significant performance issues within wars uh, this may be improved with better optimization maybe it's something else entirely it's honestly hard to say at the time of recording this they have just released a patch that fixes quote various client and server crashes so maybe that addresses some of those problems i know of multiple wars that has led to people crashing but even if people don't flat out crash there's just tons of lag and latency issues that people are dealing with as they are fighting over points now Granted, rendering the flashy skills of 100 people on top of each other is going to be stressful for every single machine involved. This issue reminds me of what is plaguing uh, Elder Scrolls Online right now with their massive PvP realm. Imagine a couple hundred people using their skills and gear sets that have a chance to do X effect 
uh, all that drags down their server in performance. And I can't help but think that the exact same thing is happening with New World right here. So while I may be stating the obvious when talking about this, I do think that this is the most important issue with New World at the moment, and it is critical for it to be remedied before launch. That is, this is such a core aspect of the game. Like, it has to work, so... That's my thoughts on that. If you're still here at this point, I can't thank you enough. Uh, subscribing would be amazing. It's absolutely no cost to you, and it really means the world to me. Also, liking the video and any comments help promote this video in the interwebs. Thank you for your time.